Hey guys, welcome to Style It Rich. I'm your host, Jessica Rich, and on today's show, I have a special guest, the NBA star himself, Daniel Gibson. How are you? I'm doing good. How You're you? good. You look fly as always. Well, thank you. A little comfortable today, but yeah, a little something. He, he, like the fans all wrote in, they wanted to know, like, we love your style. Like seriously, like you're one of the guys that play, but you also keep it fresh when you're not playing. Right. So we want to get into your style, your closet, and I had you bring a bunch of stuff today. You brought like a lot of stuff actually. <laughs> I'm gonna take everything home from my mom. Um, yes. What's like one of the, like, I guess you'd say, what's one word you'd say to define your style? <clears throat> like one definition of your style? Uh, confident. Confident. Yeah, I feel like whatever you put on, you can wear anything, but if you wear it with the right type of swag, the right type of confidence, it'll present well. What happens when guys don't have swag? Then what it is? It just look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be a good look though. It could be something that they put together well, but if you wear it without the right type of, you know, feel, uh -huh. it won't feel right. It's not gonna work. Yeah. So fellas, you gotta get your swag up if you're gonna compete with this one, you know? <laughs> do you believe in um, like following trends? Like, I know what you have on today is very trendful, the Louis Vuitton, but do you, do you have to follow that or will you do your own thing? Nah, definitely. I try not to follow trends. Okay. I try to just, whatever I feel, I just do it. I try to create my own lane and stay there. Stay there. Do you find people copying your song? Nah. Like I got Instagram, even... like, I just wore that yesterday. <laughs> What's going on? Nah, I mean, I got a lot of flex for the little onesie I wore, or looking onesie I wore hey, on yeah, my Instagram. Like it. But yeah, but it was actually, a, um, the shirt was the same, um, what do you call it? The same look as the pants. Okay. And so it looked like it was all one, but it was actually two separate. It was an overall with a shirt. I thought it was a full on, like, one, onesie. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. I mean, it looked good. Whatever it was, <laughs> it was dope. So you bought some stuff for us. So I want you to show me, like, if you had to wear one thing every day, like you just ran out of clothes and one thing every day, what would you wear? And why? Uh, what I bring? Oh, really? I just brought this little comfortable basketball look. Being as though I was in the NBA, yeah. I, pair, I always got. I got a closet full of throwbacks, so okay. I can go anywhere. Clyde Drexler to Ma uh, Bernie Maxwell all the way down. So this is a West Huntsville right oh, I here. See. Can you check it out? This is cute. And what size is this? Uh, my size. Like I think it's 52. Yeah. Check this out. So ladies, this is what he would wear every single day if he absolutely had to. I'm sure you have black, white, yellow, every color. Yeah, yeah. This is it, right On here. On top of that, probably just sweats uh -huh. and a mustard shirt. And a mustard, a mustard shirt? Yeah. Like the white beard? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's it. White beaters are still in. They've been around for like 20 years. I don't think they're ever going to stop. Yeah, why they call it white beard? I don't know. You don't be your wife, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, I don't get it. Why do they call me? I yeah, wear one. Sure. I don't have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not a figure that. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, they're cute. Do you, um, do you spend any amount of money? I see you have Louboutins, you have all these crazy shoes, but would you shop just like in a normal place like Zara or Kmart? Yeah, would you yeah just... I'm that guy. You're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I go to Target. You might catch me at Target. I get a, you know, the t-shirt with the little words on it. Okay. I'm a fan of uh, Top Shop. They got Top the shop. longer um, shirts with the drop crotch pants. I mean, I'm, I accessorize. Okay. I put a whole list together for $50. Be good. There we go. See? Look at that. He's not only like, Cute, but he also spends money, saves money, <laughs> and he knows what to do and not to spend like thousands of dollars. Yeah, I mean, Most from, guys do that. From time to time, like I go get a pair of shoes, like the kicks I got right there. I just had to get those. We're gonna get those. Yeah. The next yeah. question was, bring out the hottest shoe in your closet, and those are definitely it. Who are yeah. those five? I can't say that name, you know. It's I can't one of the designer names. Bushimi. Bushimi. Bushimi, that's, that's what cool. I'm gonna call them. Yeah. They're all gold. I'm upset because I creased the front of them the first time I wore them, and now I just keep them like, you know, like the little kids had the shoes bronze. Uh -huh. like, yeah, that's how I'm gonna keep them. Well, guys always get mad when they crease your shoes, but tell me, how do you not crease them if you're wearing them? It's like, it's really, you gotta step light, step light, and then make sure they ain't too big. I think that might be a size, like a half a size too big, so the front. And they have like this thing on it. Lock and key. They come with the keys too? Yeah. What size shoe are you? 13. 13. Lucky number 13, ladies. 13 <laughs> is that number. Now, how much did these cost? I don't know. I want to say like 1500 Not too bad. 1500 That is too bad. You're supposed to pay 1500 for sure. I mean, they look amazing. <laughs> They're all gold. Yeah, you, you know? Should. Yeah, I don't, I don't advise anybody to pay over. Like 15 200 for sure. Even enjoy it. So why did you do it? I'm just, I, I gotta feel right, I gotta look right. So sometimes I overspend, but I wouldn't suggest that you do so. 
Have you ever like been somewhere like randomly like hey your publicist called you you gotta go to this event and you weren't dressed properly and you just had to go as is? Yeah. Did yeah. you look bad or do you ever have moments where you just like, oh man? I love like this I tell you earlier, you could have on um, like the worst look, but you just gotta wear it like it's like like it's, it's the best one. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it, and that's how you present yourself. So he's been there, he's done that, he's human. He doesn't always look amazing when he steps out of his house. Um, <laughs> who's like what's your favorite cologne? You bought two of them with you. Are they both your favorite? Yeah, yeah. I actually like the Aventus because I heard it has an um, Afro, <laughs> aphrodisiac in it. So like, they told me at the store, like when you spray it on, like uh, the girls are kind of like they'll come after you. Yeah, like the ass commercials. So. These smell. No <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, this is the one. No, this smells really, really nice. Which one are you wearing? This one today? Yeah. This one smells really nice. That's my Creed. And how much was that? Um, like probably like seventy-five. The price is it. I think you just send someone to shop for you. Sometimes. Pretty much, right? Sometimes. Not really though, because I'm real like picky. Like I like what I like. Okay. So once I find it, then I can send somebody to shop for me. But I gotta find it. You gotta it find it first. Yeah. That's right. And the other one's called Black Saffron. You saw that one. Yeah, they made that one in the um, They actually made that one when I was in the mall. For this one smells really nice. I think I like that one better, but this is more of a daytime. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the one. That's <laughs> that one the, brings yeah, the ladies to the bring the ladies out. <laughs> You're so funny. So you showed us your favorite um shoes. We got your favorite cologne. What would you say your favorite designer is top notch hands down. Once again, I'm not I'm not good at saying these guys' names, mm -hmm. but Givon Che. I think okay, yep. <laughs> Givon Che. And him. And then um, <laughs> there was actually this guy who I like his shirts, um Ashton Michael. Like, oh yeah, I know exactly. He's been doing a lot of guys mm -hmm. recently and like I like the longer shirts. Yeah. The more fitted shirts but longer. Why do you like the longer? Those are really cute. Yeah, because I'm a I'm a, I'm a longer guy. And so like the, the short shirts is a, they, they don't fit me right. No. So like when you get the longer look, it gives you a high fashion kind of feel. You're right. So. And if that trend goes down, still you're still gonna rock it? Yeah. You're still gonna rock it. I'm actually creating my, my clothing line, I'm actually putting oh, wow. it together and it's it's high fashion meets urban. Okay. So it's like I got a lot of the high fashion looks but more affordable. What's the name of it gonna be? Gang. Gang? Yeah. Oh my god. It's an acronym for guarantee ain't nothing great. Do you have a website? Yeah, my, my website is boobiesworld.com. Boobiesworld.com? Yeah, boobiesworld.com. Okay. Yeah, my clothes drop sometime in the near future. I'm still working. So even though it's men's, I need to get at least a shirt I can rock. Of course. I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, you know, I'm, I'm all about ladies looking well, so I'm going to have a ladies line, kids line. Everything. Yeah. Love it. That brings me to the next question. Like, what's one thing that you have to say that you love women in? Like, Jeans and sneakers, like heels and jeans. Like, what's your? Dang, she had that on. Oh, I love it. Sidewalk. Outside, inside the house, my t-shirt is preferred. <laughs> but um, outside, <clears throat> again, I think it's confidence. Confidence. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm big on that. I'm big on just whatever you got on. If you got that walk, like it really don't matter. Do it. Wear it. It's like a white t-shirt and that's it. Yeah. And, and heels. Jays. Wear Jordans. But if you got that little. Yeah. Like you know where you're going, though confident in it. Yeah. That's most. That's kind of how girls feel too. I think girls feel the same thing. If a guy has a whatever, it's like about oh, well, confidence. As long as your breath is a smell, we're good to go. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> Deal breaker. Um, that little hot leopard number. What is that? You bought that one. Well, you asked. You told me. That's the most too. most confident. Look that's that's definitely. I had in my closet, and this hoodie ex exudes. Wow, Giuseppe. Confidence, and I think it was only like five of them, like made. And I was walking through the this mall in, in Vegas, and I saw it. Wow, it's so heavy, ladies. It's like the heaviest thing. It's like yeah, five pounds. Yeah, I think that's real cheap. Do you mind trying it on for us? It goes on with your outfit. It actually matches, huh? It does. And this was probably a pretty penny, I'd say. How much yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. We won't talk about that. <laughs> the accountant is watching. Yeah, because I don't really <laughs> want people to be too concerned with how much I spend. Well, that's and the more. thing. And more concerned with how I look in it. You That's know what I'm good. Saying? Our show's all about like looking amazing, spending money on things you need to, but saving money. So yeah. So when that. I put that thing on, I turn into somebody <laughs> totally different. So I think I might finish the interview on <laughs> in this thing. Yeah? I love it. You're so <laughs> this is Giuseppe. So this is only five of them made. If you guys like it, sorry, it's been done. He's done it already. Can't do it. We have a game on our show called Worth It or Waste. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. You're gonna tell me if it's worth it or waste. Gotcha. The first one is a you know Jordan of course has a million shoes. He comes out with one that's two thousand dollars. Worth it or waste? Waste. No waste. disrespect to Michael Jordan. He's the greatest of all time. But 
Yeah, his shoes that came off before. He bring them back out for 2000. That just don't seem like a good deal. No? <laughs> what if it's like limited edition? Like, but just like this jacket, no? Waste. Waste. Jordan, I'm sorry, but Jay is not feeling it. <laughs> um, your barber comes to the house. I'm sure you're on the go a lot. Barber comes to the house. He charges you two fifty just to come cut your hair. Worth it or waste? Well worth it. Yeah. I had a stack to get my hair cut. Like, I got it every week. I got it. I gotta get it right. I was just gonna ask you how often do you get your hair cut? Four. I mean every four days. Every four days. Cause yeah, I got the little baby fro working right now, so <laughs> my line comes back in quick. So I gotta get it. I gotta stay on top. Keep of it lined up. Good. Now, have you ever been completely bald? You see my head? That wouldn't work out for me. It's not this. <laughs> Put on the screen if you guys want to see him shave his head. No, yeah. I think it's, this is a good look. This is a good look. I don't think a bald head would work out for me. You don't think so? I gotta have it. Thousand dollars, he would pay that. Okay, cool. Who is your barber? His name is Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank. I take him with me everywhere I go. Okay. Like my wallet, uh -huh. like my car keys. You take him. And my barber. That's good. That's like girls with their hair. You know, I don't know where we'd be without a weave. <laughs> we were worth the same there. So also, like, it's Grammy weekend. It turns up, your boys are in town. Grammy weekend. There's one table left at Greystone. It's $6,000. Worth it or waste? Waste. Waste? Yeah. Why do you say? Yeah, I can, I mean, I could go, we, yeah, we could go sit at the bar, me and my boys, or we can park a lot of pimps. Yeah. <laughs> 6000 that's a lot of bricks. They be killing you with these club prices, I don't understand it. Yeah, everything is overpriced at the club. It's crazy, like one bottle's like $5,000, so he said it's waste. Last but not least, Bugatti, amazing car. Before, before you even finished, I think they like a million dollars. Million dollars. Something like that. Million dollars. Waste. Major waste. Cause I ain't, I'm not big on flossing. You know, it ain't about flux, it's more about, you know, the stuff that matters. Uh -huh. So I can live without the club and the $2,000 shoes, as That's long as good. I got the, the necessity. I'm straight. That's all that matters. He's like normal like the rest of us. I love it. And I, I also see you're doing like a movie. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, it's a, um, it's a scripted series called Domino. It's my okay. first time acting, so I'm excited. Okay. I'm kind of in character right now. Oh, Still, you are? Yeah, I'm working on my character. It's What's like, your character? It's fun. It's just, I mean, I'm... I'm not really a criminal, but I'm something bad happens in my life that kind of turns me into somebody that I'm not. Oh wow! Okay. And so I kind of gotta go dark for a little while. So. And you kind of feel like when people say like when you're an actor, like almost like you go into that character, it's hard for you to come out of it because you're so wrapped into the whole. Thing. Yeah, because like every day you read the script, you read the script, and you acting and you acting, and so sometimes like I don't even like go fun places right now. I try to go places that kind of keep me Dark. in, a, yeah, in yeah. that mindset so that when I do it, because I'm a perfectionist. Like yeah. I want it to come off great and with it being my first time, like I want to excel at it. Yeah. Look at that. Theater near you. We're excited. Well, it was really great getting to know your style, your fashion. This, this is so dope. I think I need to like, get like a girl one or something like that. I yeah. love it. Make sure you tell us your Twitter, Instagram for those of us who don't know. Well, my Twitter, I don't really use it that much, but it's Boobies World 1. And my Instagram is Booby Game. And my website is boobiesworld.com. So, yeah, Booby Everything. Booby Everything. And check out his clothing line coming soon. Gang, right? Yeah, G A N G. And I got a lip gloss, lip gang. So, oh, wait, so you, have, you have lip gloss too? It's coming. It's coming. One stop shop. This guy does not stop. <laughs> thank you so much, Daniel. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. See you guys later. Thanks for watching Styler Rich. Until next time, we'll see you soon. What's up with it? It's Booby. And you are watching Style It Rich. <laughs>